shame about these people. This ain't right. Another thing that Mammon will pay for. All right, then welcome everybody, I guess, to episode six. Yes, we just discovered a way to track Mammon, I guess. So, Flynn, have you found what you were looking for? Well, at least I know what the train feels like, what to look for. Once I broaden the range of my esoteric aura, or sixth sense, whatever you call it, I should be able to find our Hellgate station. All right, so let's go. Have we explored this side? Let's see. No, there's something new, Frozen Lake. As we rode through the frozen lake, we met a group of hardy fishermen gathered around a hole in the ice. They look pretty relaxed, and we could see that their baskets were full, and we approach. Ho oh, there, having a really good day, I see. <laughs> oh man, this guy's after my heart with these puns. The merry company welcomed us warily but warmly. After a while, we were handed some rods and encouraged to try and catch some for ourselves. Join the fishing is one option, maybe another time. No, let's do it. Let's see. We agreed and joined them, but Klalish was the only one who managed to catch anything. Just as she was pulling out another beautiful lake trout, one of the men slipped and fell in headfirst into the frigid water. Oh no, we're gonna have to save him. Jump into the water, which means we gain provisions, but we lose health. Ah, uh, we have nothing else to do. Oh, if deer was ally, we could have... Uh, you know, not wasted any health. Ah, damn, man. Gene Carter is at the... Uh, <laughs> oh. Alright, uh, you know what? Provision. I think provisions heal everything, right? So no matter what health we lose, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna gain the health back. Let's do it. For Christ's sake, people. Thanks to our quick reaction, we managed to save the poor fool. His friends rewarded us with food and some booze. We left soon after. Yes. Jean Carter lost some health points, but we have provisions. So we can heal them right back up. Hold on, let's actually try that. Can we make camp? Now if we take a rest, or first, hold on, hold on. Do we actually have two provisions? Yes, because one of them is a quest item. So we need to be careful not to lose that. But the other one, the other one we can, we can use. Let's heal everybody with provisions. Nice, we lost the provisions, but now... Everybody should be tiptoe shape. Let's check it out. Yes, 23, 19, 20, 16. Yes, everybody back up to speed. Plus, we have our quest item. All right, cool. Let's go oh, somewhere else now. Hell is a whole lot warmer. All right, and we are coming up to a point where we haven't explored. Let's go this way. Try to approach this camp, maybe. Let's go for the secondary missions first. Kettler's farm. This is only for buying stuff, right? To call it a farm would be an overstatement, yes. I think we've talked with him, yes. We can buy things here. I think my nose is frostbitten. Oh, there is a native village up there. Definitely worth That's checking out. Something warm. Oh, and there is a main mission here. Hold on. Pine Falls, yes, that will trigger the main mission. We're gonna leave. We do not want to do that yet. Hold on. Let's go for the, uh, for the side quests first. And there you have it, the horse ranch. Make a deal with the horse rancher. Yes, that is our quest. It was a rather small secluded ranch, run only by one man. But he was good at his job. He managed to keep his horses healthy and fed despite the weathers thanks to a barn full of good hay. He had other problems though. Yes, and this is where we enter the scene. What are you looking for in this damned weather, says the rancher. And we explain the lieutenant's deal to the rancher. So they need horses. And what do I care? My daughter is sick, and even all of their so-called military exchange bills won't buy the medicine I need. Help her or get lost before I grab my gun. Alright, I guess uh, <laughs> let's try and reason with this guy. Treat the rancher's daughter, because we have the supplies. Spare your own medicine. Yes, we're gonna lose the wonderful tonic, but ah, you know what, we got a lot of healing items. We'll return with some medicine. Oh, if I had a loyalty for Lazarus, which is kind of the resident doctor, I could use him as well. Oh well, minus one wonderful tonic, I guess. You're in luck. We are carrying something that could help. Here, take this. God bless you. And to think I was ready to shoot you on sight. Give me these damn military bills. I will eagerly trade a dozen of my horses for the life of my girl. 
Tell your lieutenant we have a deal. Excellent. So give the contract to the commander. Let's go back and deliver on the contract. We're lost, aren't we? Do we have to wander in this snow? Well, yes, we do, because we need to complete side quests. Shut up. <laughs> a group of soldiers set up camp nearby. I remember the war good enough to recognize negligence when I see it. Yes, we've uh, read about this. Let's visit the commander again and complete this side quest. We got horses. We settled the deal with the rancher. You'll get your horses soon. Now, about that reward. Splendid. As promised, here is an exceptional piece of weaponry. It belonged to our captain before the damn cold took him. Or I could give you 80 bucks instead. Oh, hold on, what are we getting? Desert Ranger. Damage? Six? Of course I'm getting this. Are you kidding me? Screw the 80 bucks. Plus one damage for weapons in this game is huge. I'm gonna give this to, uh, to Jin, who already has like plus one weapon. Uh, plus one uh, pistols damage. And once he gets into, uh, you know, his bravado, he gets even plus one. So it's going to be like eight damage with a mere pistol. Yes, give me that. That is a beautiful piece of iron, Lieutenant. I'll remove it from your hands. <laughs> All right, and we leave. Nice. Let's go and equip it right away. John, you're getting an upgrade. Yeah, he had the sevener. Now he's going to get a sixer. Excellent. We don't need to give this to anybody else, I guess. It is like... The same gun that everybody else is carrying. All right, carry on. Let's go on to the next Can't missions. Feel my extremities. Not that I normally do. All right, we are oh, almost cold. back where we started. Let's keep exploring. It's freezing out here. Oh, there's bound to be this village that we saw earlier here. Ah, yes, Okina's farm. What can we do here? Lazarus led us northward until we saw a snow-covered farmland in a cozy valley by the frozen lake. According to Lazarus, this land belonged to Okane clan. He suspected they were behind all the strange disappearances around Pine Falls. And we enter. You don't get it. These are not simple hardened farmers with guns. These people are fanatics. If Moses Okane would tell them to set themselves and their own families on fire, they would just do it. They are mad people. Treat them like rabid animals. Interesting. We obviously should have gotten some text here, I guess. But oh well. A simply completely unsuspected farm. I bet it is. Alright, so we cannot enter right now. We will probably get a side quest or something later, I bet. Alright, let's uncover the fog of wars and continue. Ooh. I think my nose is frostbitten. Ah, now this is the village that we saw. We happened upon the weird gathering. A small group of settlers approached the chief of the native village. The settlers seemed desperate, and the chief and his warriors were getting angrier with every minute as we approach. Let's see what that's all about. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, God bless you, mister. Please, help us convince them to trade with us. We brought silver, guns even. We only want the food to survive the cold. That's all you people do, all the time. You want, you need, you take. No more. Go somewhere else with your cursed weapons and trinkets. The chief is right. Let's remove your folk from the village before they decide to use those guns. Alright, a classic, I guess, white man versus Indian argument. Come on, those settlers have hungry families. I'm sure we can come to some kind of understanding. Alright, it is a loyalty choice again. We can go for Laughing Deer or Lazarus. Let's go for Laughing Deer. Oh, we could go for both. If Klalish was an ally. Interesting. Oh, man. <laughs> In any case, we're gonna go for Laughing Deer, I guess. Expel the settlers. He's the most useful party member compared to Lazarus, I guess. I know what I'm talking about. Following Deer's advice, we helped to expel the settlers for the village before things got ugly. And we gained some loyalty. Alright, that's all about what we could do here, I guess. Are freezing over. Let's continue uncovering the fog of war. Alright, another mysterious place, native ruins. The ruins had to be old, very old. I've never seen a real cathedral, but the majestic silence I felt around here made me think of them. We approach. As we rode among the stones, we noticed an altar, similar to the one the Shadow Dance was using during their ritual. 
Scattered around there were corpses of at least four armed and well-equipped men, and we searched the bodies to gain one Widowmaker pistol. Not much of a fine, but oh well, better than nothing, I guess. I knew these men, says Lazarus. They were tasked by Brass and Co. to help me oversee Delir's experiments. Let me see. Yes, right here, this clump of bent metal and crushed glass, this was one of Solomon's contraptions, siphons we called them. Someone killed them all and destroyed the machine. And if Flynn was a partner, she could sense things and get some blue dynamite. Alas, she isn't. So we leave empty-handed. Well, almost. Alright, so let's go uncover the fog of war this, this way. And probably get into a main mission as well, the spirit told him. The woods were dark and thick here. We could all feel a powerful presence lingering there. If not for the things we've survived lately, I'd probably shit myself. Or maybe it was the fact that I had no soul that made me feel braver. <laughs> Good question, as we approached the totem. Flynn took a few steps forward, afraid and angry at the same time. Dangerous mixture when it comes to that girl. Well, we're here. Lalana yet sent us. So show yourself. I'm waiting. Spirit bear. I heard stories about him. Never met him in person, though. This is an exceptional thing, Flynn. Do not waste it. Suddenly there was a warm wind and a rustle of branches. Shadows seemed to elongate. The nook we stood on drowned in mournful darkness. And in that darkness, there he was. Huge, majestic, scary as shit. And he spoke in effing English, I kid you not. I know of you, Go, and of your enemies and your allies, and all the paths that lay before you. Alright then, <laughs> a talking bear, sure, why not? You know about Mammon, who are you or how can we find Mammon? Alright, I'm guessing we're gonna go through all of them. You mean you know about Mammon and his ghost train? I know that Utena has awoken and is rampaging through these lands, sowing chaos and leaving death in its wake. Know this, I want him gone, and I will aid you in finding him. Well, that is good news because I would not want to have to fight this thing. <laughs> who are you, by the way? And who exactly are you? You must forgive me, I've already stepped in too much weird shit lately. Tend to things that have spirits lingering in them. I died. I grant power. This must suffice. All right, the mysterious bear he is, I guess. How can we find Mammon? Lalanet said you can help our Flynn to find some kind of gateway to hell. We call it Hellgate Station. Is that right? Lalanet spoke true. I can feel tremendous spiritual power in the one you call Flynn. And I can help her unlock it. You, little cop, will have to unravel the cocoon of fear you've been wrapped in since the day you were born. No! No way! This little piece of witchcraft I've used to survive is enough. I never wanted this, and I definitely don't want this now. Come on now, Bear. You can't expect this child to. No one asked you, lady. I can tell him to fuck off all by my lonesome. Alright, this is taking a uh, turn for the worse, I guess. And we have loyalty choices, Klalish and Flynn. Oh boy, watch which one should I choose now? Maybe we should upgrade Flynn a bit. I mean, I've leveled up Klalish up to Companion. Flynn is already an ally. Maybe we could escalate the relationship with Flynn and get some bonuses for her. Alright, let's go with Flynn. Flynn can do it. Who are you and what did you do with the asshole Jin? Flynn, you're our only chance. I know you can do it. And this, the spirit, thinks so too, right? This is the only way you ever be able to find him and face him with a hope for survival. 
This is the, is the good way. This is the way. And no other will ever be offered to you. Alright, nice. He paused there for a second. <laughs> I bet it's too long. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess we can't just use a compass? Take these herbs. Once you are ready, throw them into a fire burning a sacred ground. Inhale the smoke. This will transport you and three others to the spirit world, where you will face your fears. Ah, yes. We are closing in on our quest. Thank you for the help, bear. We know everything we need. We thank you for your help. We'll meet again, gentleness. Go. Face your fears, young Flynn. I'll be with you. Ah, yes. This feels like Grayskull all over again with the power of the bear. Nice. <laughs> and begin Flynn's vision ritual then. Let's go. That's way beyond my ken. You sure you know what you're doing, Flynn? When you decide to face your fears, I will be with you. Guarding you and your friends. Go now. Together, we chose the other three participants carefully. It's not every day one can enter the spirit world after all. Then, hesitantly, Flynn threw the herbs into the fire, and we even held the smoke. Here goes nothing. <sighs> oh, damn! Oh, it's not very subtle at all, is it? <laughs> Shit! And enter Flynn's dreams, we did. Let's go. Whoa. All right, we're gonna choose the usual party. We've already equipped them, so no need to uh, fluff about. Let's begin. I, I recognize this place, or at least pieces of it. This is the orphanage where I grew up, kinda. But it's all jumbled about. Try not to make sense of it, Cub. Just walk through it. Fine. Face your fears. I'll be with you. Easy for you to say. They ain't your fears. These are the shadows of your past. You need to excise them from your spirit to gain strength. I can feel the presence of something familiar. While I'm here, I might as well try to collect both parts of... Oh, whatever it is. Let's go. And be careful. This may be a vision, but the dangers we face here are for real. We can be hurt. Courage, Cole. Onward. And so we start. Oh boy, we have a lot of enemies around us. Alright, so this is kind of a multi-stage battlefield. I don't know if you guys can see. This area is kind of elevated. So we cannot go like here and then there well there is a ladder but it will take a long way so i might get here by using a uh, flint's swapping shadow swapping ability then these guys can come down they probably will attack us through the door all right let's start things off maybe with laughing deer can we get here yes we can get with one right movement and then we can do four plus four damage to finish this guy off there are no Oh, well, even one shoot him, why not? Yes. What can we do next with him though now? Well, before I go any further, maybe hold on, let's do that flame trick I was yeah. thinking about. Give us some options. Let's switch places with this lady. See me shuffle. I'm gonna bring her here into the fold where these two guys can hopefully finish her off. And I have a guy that I can one shot. So that should be cool as well. I'll be fine. I'll oh. And now, now we got a lot of people here. Hold on, first, let's see if we can deal with this lady over there, though. Alright, so I do have a devious idea, I think. This guy might hurt Klalish if I don't kill him, and Klalish, I kinda need her 9 damage. Hold on, where is it? Yes, her 9 damage to kill a Flynn off. Let's do that right away, actually. I, won't miss. I mean, Shadow Flynn here. The trick here being, why not position Jen? Somewhere where he, he can 100% shot this lady. 
like there in the door and then he can take a step and kill this guy as well if i open the door will i still get a hundred percent shot hold on let's save and find out because i want to be able right. to get as close to this guy as i can let's see all right can you still a hundred percent shot her yes excellent take that shot let's dance Nice, and now we have a clear shot at this guy. Man, we have a lot of clear shots here. We could finish these guys, but I do not want to waste them because I want to spend 8 damage on this guy and then bring Laughing Gear around, right? Finish these two guys off and then he will have to uh, make some additional damage to this shotgunner. So hold on and see how this actually works. Need someone dead. Alright, this would obviously take all your movement, so we need to use this wild run. Alright, can we kill him? Yes, with three movements. Your Let's do it. Is mine. You go get him, dear. Excellent, so now we'll go close to this guy to shot right. him. All right, and now let's get close to uh, our new friend here. And we still have eight damage to do with him. Eight with Carter. This is sufficient. Let's do it. Here's eight damage. And here's another eight. Set me loose. Excellent. And that is all the enemies in the area, I think. Alright, now we should just find out how to proceed. New enemies are gonna be there. We need to proceed towards this edge. Alright, you can kind of see where the enemies are coming from. Alright, let's advance them carefully though, because these two guys, Jin and Klaalish, cannot really move. What well, Jin can go over there, I guess. But the other two... Nope. Now, what can you... You can hide there. Oh, hold on, we have a 100% shot on this guy. Yeah, he's out in the open. Alright, let's take one shot. Why not? I got this one. Excellent, and then you're gonna hide close to the wall. And laughing deer, we could bring him this way or we could bring him that way. Let's bring him close to uh, you know, to Flynn, because you know how I like that combination. Let's put him here for three movements. Oh, he's taking that route anyway. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, and you can see, oh, we have a fiver guy in here, nice. Is he gonna flank me? Oh, I hope not. You cannot possibly have a shot now. Stick him, boys. You are a fiver. You're gonna take a shot. All right, full cover in effect. Nice. Another rifleman. Hopefully he doesn't get a shot. Oh, that is actually nice. I can use this guy as a stepping stone with his five damage. Kill the other guy who's a tenor as well. All right, and here comes the difficult guy enemy of the bunch i guess let's get him nobody firing a shot interesting well one guy Got him now. oh if we play this right if we play this right lots of fiver guys yes if we play this right oh this could be a massacre here hold on all right so let's get in with deer see how much damage we can cause i want to spend only one movement let's get up to this guy I can kill him melee or with the weapon, doesn't really matter. Both will work. Alright, and now we have another five guy. I'm gonna take advantage of that. I could kill this tenor guy. Or I could damage this guy and this guy. Alright, let's try and take advantage, care of everybody as they come. I'm gonna go close to him. Because I wanna be ready to smack him. Now I'm gonna use the gun to kill this guy. And now I have three movements with which I can uh, kill this guy as well. Uh, we're gonna do all of the melee style though. Shit. All right, and another two. God damn. And he bites the dust as well. Unfortunately, I don't have my wild run, so I don't know if I can get more enemies. I could get him, could I? I don't think so. Like, unless I can get to him with one movement. Yes, I can. Oh, actually, I can a lot. Interesting. 
I will get kill this guy as well, but after that my run is gonna be over. I don't see anybody else. Uh, so let's get close to him, kill him as well. And then we will have to go back. There's a guy here. I briefly saw him. <laughs> Alright, once more. Alright, now let's leave Laughing Deer here as a bonus. Maybe if I can get a shot on one of these guys, he can continue his run. So Flynn, what Let damage you can you do? First things first, I see I could 100% uh, this guy. With 5 damage, easy money. Let's do that. Kill the gunman, please. Excellent, get bravado and all my points back. Now this guy, we can't do much. I could though aid Laughing Deer here. Maybe if I can get a shot on this guy. He's out of view right now. Can get some shot. How if I will use luck? 75%, that is not much. That is not much. Should we take the shot? Should we live a bit on the edge, I guess? Let's try and take it. Alright, 75%. Come on. You can do this. Nice. Laughing Deer has movements again. And I get some luck. Alright, Laughing Deer. Uh, let's go back to this guy and smack him senseless. Oh, hold on. I should not have done this. Ah, damn it. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take that move again. Because you see what I should have done instead of running up to him. I'm gonna run up to this guy. Still have 100% shots to kill the guy that's on the lower right part of the screen. Like this. You are wise to fear me. And now I'm next to this guy and I can smack him senseless as well. Alright, with my melee weapons, of course. Alright, two more times. Man, I have made Laughing Deer into a killing machine. He even got a crit go with that one. Alright, let's see. Can we observe the battlefield here some more? Alright, so I don't think there's much we can do now. That Fiverr guy looks delicious, but we cannot get to him. I mean, I need to find one movement. And then be able to shoot him with 100%. But I don't see. Best I see is 50%. Even less if I do not use any luck. So we're gonna... We're gonna take the win. Let's retreat a bit. I'm gonna go here with Deer. We're gonna focus on these two guys that remain on the area. One 15 damage, one 10 damage. We can hunker down as well. Flynn does not have any movements left. So let's focus on the other two guys. We're gonna bring them as close as I can. I'm gonna bring you here. Still have one point spared to hunker down. Flynn... You need to think about finding better role models. And Klalish, you can get up there. You're gonna spend all your three right. movements. So no hunkering down, but still you have full cover. So hopefully, you'll be fine. Let's see what happens. Stick him, boys. Switching positions, interesting. He can still shoot. But he missed, excellent. And I can flank him quite easily, I think. Oh, wow, can you shoot? Leave some for me too. Thankfully, you cannot shoot. What is this? Oh, wow, somebody has the same abilities that I have? Oh, Jesus Christ. Flynn's reflection. Yes, of course, they can do whatever Flynn does. Oh, I do not like this one bit. They are teleporting her around. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's gonna be alone very soon. Oh, wow, now everybody's gonna get a shot at her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man, she's very close to death. Like, if somebody shoots at her... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like him. Oh, he's not gonna take a shot. Okay, cool. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, that is a very dangerous situation. Wow, Shadow Flynn reflection. Alright, so I'll see how we deal with Flynn later. Jesus Christ, she's in a predicament. Maybe I should leave one enemy alive so she could switch back. We'll see. Let's see if for the time being how we can deal with these guys. Maybe we'll use all the points for Flynn to run back. Or maybe she can deal with some of these people. Do we have any fivers? Yes, we have a fiver here. Uh, we might have some options. For now though, let's concentrate on this, uh, this punch here. The Shadow Reflection needs to go. Klalish, do you have a shot? She has a 100% shot. Nice. That will bring her down to 7. Do I have 7 damage? Yes, I have 7 damage with the pistol. Nice. Alright, let's take that. It's actually gonna be 9 damage, is it? Yes. Excellent. 
One and oh. Well, she's done, but she's in full cover. Now, Jin Carter, you could obviously finish her off. If you go there, you're going to have a 100% shot at this guy as well. You can also deal with this guy. Oh, man, we got options. All right, so I say we deal with the uh, with the heavy enemy first. I'm going to bring him right here. He can 100% shot everybody from this very position, like all three enemies. And also have some cover if need be. Now, I could smack him for 7 damage. That will leave him with 8. And Laughing Deer can deal with him. Or you know what? I could just kill Flynn's Reflection, maybe. Yes, and getting all my points back. Hold on. Let's actually try that. I mean, Laughing Deer still has the Wild Run ability, so he can probably reach the other guy. Let me actually test this out right now. Mr. Laughing Deer, how far can you reach? Yes, you can reach a lot with two movements. We should be able to do this. All right, now, you could inflict... A lot of damage on this guy. Eight damage to be exact. Let's do that. All right, now Laughing Deer, you can finish him off with two melee hits. Switch weapons. Once more, excellent. And now Wild Run up to this guy. Finish him off as well. Excellent, thus we took care of everybody. Now we have three movements with you. We should probably bring you a bit closer to the fight, but not too close. I mean, we're going to be probably defensive with Flynn. How far back could you run, theoretically, if we need to? Not a lot. Can you get to... Yes, you can get to full cover. All right, and I could bring you a body to help you out. There is Shadow Flynn still here, though. Let's see what damage we can cause before we leave. We can definitely kill this guy, but unfortunately I don't think by her lonesome she could do much else. I mean, unless Laughing Deer can reach, which would be absurd. He certainly cannot, right? Yeah, he cannot. But in any case, Flynn, you're on your own. Do this. Take one guy out, and then we go. I got this one. Right, this bravado is not going to do you too much good, though. So let's just bring you back home. A bit closer. Yeah, I think that's the closest she can go. Let's go there. And next, I might bring Laughing Deer in the uh, adjacent full cover position here, maybe. I will. <laughs> yeah, let's not leave her all alone there. She also needs seriously healing. Like, if she can shadow swap again, I'm hoping she cannot because she did the previous round, right? If she can, though. Yeah, it's not gonna be a good time for us. Alright, in any case, hunker down, Mr. Deer. And let's see what happens. What's the play? Oh, we still have one movement for Carter. Where can I hide you? Probably behind full cover again. Yes, let's not overextend yourself. Just go there. Now you do not possibly have that much movements to hit me as well, right? Oh, another 15 guy, I can tell by the shadow, yes. Who is he, though? I cannot tell what kind of enemy the, he is. A tenor, he can take a shot. Oh, come on, man. He's also gonna fire a shot, isn't he? No, he took too many movements, come on. Leave some for me, too. Oh, he's gonna fire, though. Oh, come on! They both hit me behind full cover. Laughing Deer? Okay, that is an interesting choice. That is an interesting choice. And she can hit as well, man. Flynn's reflection is wrecking havoc. Why are these guys not hitting me, though? That is very curious. Oh, man, we are in a predicament. We have a lot of people that need some health. Now, right, let's start with Laughing Deer, who has the kind of easiest situation. Kind of... <laughs> Kind of weird to say that since he's surrounded by enemies, but it is what it is. Let's go smack this guy twice. Oh, maybe I should have smacked him. Ah, right, cool, doesn't matter now. Let's do this. <laughs> then we're gonna smack him, and hopefully I have enough movements to get up there. Yeah, I should be able to 
rush here and with my pistol take this guy out as well. I so smack him now. Alright, with one shot even, nice. Can I actually hold on? No, I'll rush up to him and hit him with one pistol shot, I guess. Ah. Alright, excellent. Oh, and we have a good shot at this guy as well. Interesting. Interesting. That could even the playing field a bit. What if I choose to move a bit closer, though? There are not much I can do. I could hit this guy 75% without luck. That is a good shot, actually. And then I could maybe hide here. I could hit this guy, but I want to hit him more because he's closer to my folks. Let's see if we can do this without luck. Otherwise, I can always reload, I guess. Miss. Nope, we do not accept that. <laughs> and this time we will use our luck and hit this bastard. <laughs> Set me loose. Oh, All right, and let's hide him somewhere with full cover, preferably. We're gonna hide him in the corner. No, let's hide him there. Get him close to the battlefield so he can uh, backstab the other guys. Oof, and now the predicament. Man, Flynn must somehow survive. We could be defensive and bring her back, I guess, if we really want to. Can we deal with these guys otherwise, though? Oh boy, this is not a good situation. I've been through a few scenarios in my head, none of it works, especially since this lady has 14, and this guy has 10, and we cannot kill either of them in this round. Klalish is too far to do anything, unfortunately. They are behind full cover. And man, Jean Carter getting hit twice behind full cover? These were like 25% shots at best. Right, we're gonna do a tactical retreat. There's no way around it. I could maybe kill this guy if I wanted to, like I could bounce a bullet here or something, but I'm gonna opt to uh, both draw back Flynn and Jin because they need to heal. Like if I can get them with two movements into safety... Ah, uh, how far can you get? No, oh, you're still not gonna be very safe, are you? Well, best case scenario, you go over there, I guess. And use some healing item, whatever you got. Ah... Uh, Three hit points for him. Let's let's use the whiskey. Why not? She might be a bit drunk, but who cares at this point? Our Klalish. Maybe we could line up everybody here on this wall. I need Klalish to be ready in the next round, damn it. She has not been playing any kind of role. So she's gonna come here and hunker down. And then we're gonna get Jin back and heal him a bit. It's gonna be very much a defensive round this time. Uh, I could even hide him if I want to, but you know what? I'm gonna keep him battle ready here. Man, I could hit anybody. This is like the sad part. I have so much luck and I cannot spend it here. I could literally just hit anybody. But I need somebody else to help me out and then be able to retreat to safety, okay. which is not possible. Alright, use your healing item. Uh, beans, yes. And hunker down as well, please. And let's see what happens. Come on, do not get lucky twice. Oh, you're gonna be able to shoot. What a beautiful day! You gotta shoot behind full cover. Oh man, Jesus Christ! That guy had grenades. <laughs> this is easily the most difficult level. Thank God they are missing behind the full cover. Finally, the full cover functioning as intended. Oh, she's gonna shadow swap with Flynn. Well, okay, in this case, we should be able to get two good shots. Ouch, Jesus Christ. What's the Flynn's reflection is murdering me. Do we have at least 100% shots to get this lady? No, we don't. Just 50, wow. This is going so bad right now. All right, you know what? I've had enough with this lady. She is causing all the mayhem. She's like all this, the source of all our problems. And she's hiding behind full cover right now, which means I will have to waste a round just to get to her. And be in the open, which I definitely do not want. I'm gonna shadow swap with her. Hey, watch this. Okay, cool. And now we can both shoot at her and finish her off. Come on. Jesus Christ. Yes, five damage. Leaves five. 
Klali, she's finally back in the fight with her shotgun. Oh, hold on. Is she going to be able to shoot at anybody else? She could shoot the gunman with some luck. Now nah, we'll see. Finally finish her off. All right, and now, now we got some options. Let's see. All right, here is what we can do with Jen Carter in the meantime. I'm going to use this guy as a stepping stone. I'm first going to get close to the hell spawn. Then use my luck, probably. Yes, we're going to need it to kill this guy. And remember, I have a melee weapon. So I can now effectively do 8 plus 4, since I'm in bravado. A lot of damage. Oh, I just need the one. Interesting. Uh, so I can instantly kill this guy. Then combine with Klalish to kill him. Maybe and thin the herd just a little bit. Should we do that? Yeah, that seems like a good plan. All right, uh, let's kill this guy right away. Could I go farther away, still retaining a 100% chance? As much as I can spare. Let's go maybe uh, over here. Yeah, else my luck is going to run out. All right. I'll kill this guy. More bravado. And now, can I clean close to this guy and finish him off? One movement, please. Well, I could use my luck again, and Jin has a lot of luck, so it doesn't matter. Alright, you know what? Here I go. Let's go there. Then, Klalish, you will have to hit this shot. Please hit this shot, it's 75%. I really need this one. I won't miss. Thank you, indeed, you did miss. No. And now, Mr. Jim Carter, let's do the honors. Do we need the luck? Yes, we definitely do. Maybe we'll have enough to kill this guy upstairs as well. How much health does he have? Does he have 5 or does he have 10? Oh man, I don't know. That is not the time to not remember how much health this guy has. Let's switch to Laughing Deer for a bit. We cannot kill this guy, obviously, too much health. We can kill him, though, if we use the wild run. Maybe have enough to go up there and hit this guy once? Help Jin Carter out? I don't think it is a viable plan, but let's at least kill this guy. Oh, and we are bleeding. Kind of forgot about that. Yes, we lost some health there. Maybe I should have used my bandage first. Oh, boy. Yeah, I should have done that. Hold on, let's redo that. And this time, instead of running immediately up to him, let's first use the bandage for one point. The bandage, you can see it cures bleeding. Excellent, and all, all our heal points back, so let's kill him now. Without taking any damage, thank you very much. You go get him, dear. Unfortunately, nothing we can do about this guy. It's way too many hit points. And this dude... Yeah, we might get close, but we're not going to have enough points to fire, so it doesn't matter as well. Let's get back. Now, we don't have Flynn's shadow to contend with. I could just seek some cover and, uh, you know, take it from there. We can even go back there and run. So, we'll probably do that. All right, so let's retreat with Laughing Deer, maybe over here. Power. Let him be close to the action. You really need to have all your group together if you are hoping to do anything. And you, sir, you're gonna go there. Could you possibly even shoot this guy? Oh, he has five. Man, this is an opportunity. This was an opportunity, rather. All right, hunker down. And let's see what he does. Yeah, this guy can do anything, can do nothing. Just gonna come closer, obviously. Use all his movements. This guy can do some damage, maybe. Man, what is it with full cover? Why do they keep hitting me behind full cover? <laughs> this is a 25% shot, maybe with the elevation. Oh, he has the elevation, yes. All right, cool. Now we can finish this guy off somehow, I bet. And uh, maybe maybe see if we can dwindle down this guy's energy a bit. All right, so let's get close maybe with deer. I want to position deer close to this guy so that maybe we can do 8 damage. Because 8 damage plus 7 damage equals 15. Yes, and we can kill this guy. You think they well, if it goes according to plan, that is. I waste my time on tears. Right, where can I go? So 100% this guy. 
up to here. All right, cool. Go there. One movement, still retaining a hundred percent probability. Kill this guy. A good day to die. Oh, now you could advance to him, smack him twice for eight damage, and let's see. Carter, can you a hundred percent him from here? Nice, that here works. All right, take the shot. Nice! Eight is exactly the number I need. Let's go up to him. Hit him twice. Alright, and he is done. Now we do have some movements to spare with Laughing Deer. Where is the cache? There is a cache here that we actually didn't get. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we need to, to pick both of them up, I guess. Diary pages. Uh, we will retreat anyway, so we might as well do it with deer. How far back can you go? All the way up to there. Get to it. And then we still have Klalish with some movement points. I'm gonna advance her just a bit. Klalish always needs to be in a position ready to shoot. Otherwise, she's not very useful. So I'm gonna advance her quite a bit. Like, get her, where would a good placement be? Up high, even. Ah, man, if we could get her up high. Let's get her close to the vines here. Maybe even there. There's nobody inside, so we shouldn't be too afraid, should we? All right, let's get her here. I mean, if she can get height advantage as well with her, uh, you know, mighty rifle and whatnot. Flynn, you need to use your other thing as well. So you're gonna do maximum of two movements. Uh, let's get you well over there. That is full cover. Why not? And also use your healing items. And that is it. Nobody moved, so we can retrieve the treasure yeah. right away with Mr. Deer. Get to it. There's gotta be diary pages inside. I wonder if we can actually read them. Alright, so we retrieved one of two. Let's get back. You know what? I'm gonna spare you the uh, the journey back. I'm gonna just position the guys for the next fight and come back to you. Alright, I've actually progressed all the way very close to the objective here without encountering any resistance whatsoever, which is very curious. Oh, by the way, something interesting happened on the way. We recovered both of Flynn's diary pages and she had an interesting remark. Namely, that she didn't even remember writing a diary. I don't know what that is about. We'll find out soon, I guess. Uh, let's proceed to uh, the escape place. Let's go with Klalish first, who doesn't have many movements, I guess. And that is the objective. Reach everybody with the posse here. Nice. There's only one me. So the rest of these me's die. Oh man, I wasted all of Klalish's points. And now these guys up here. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. We will reload this now we have that knowledge. You know what? We're gonna actually uh, be very sneaky about this. Where do these guys spawn? One up there. And one up there. Alright, let's reload this and be sneaky about it. Oh, we also have a third here. Jesus Christ. Alright, and now this is gonna be interesting. How I've set up, the game reacts to when all the characters enter or uh, leave this space here. So as soon as Cladish, Cladish steps down there... The enemies are gonna activate. What I did is I put Flynn in a prime position to hit every target. Like there's gonna be one here, one up there, one there. I put Laughing Deer right next to one of them who's gonna appear there, I hope. And I went all the way around, climbed these vines here with Carter. So he's gonna have cover. He can shoot this lady with the elevation and then maybe even hunker down. So maybe making him a bit of a tougher target. In any case, let's see how this goes. Now we're gonna start this. Now that Klalish steps down, all hell should break loose. All right. There's only one me. So the rest of these me's die. All right, so we have one in front of us. We have one that we can all 100% shot. And we have this lady, which I can hit with Jin while also hunkering down if need be. All right, question. Can we take two of them out in the first round? I think we can actually do this easily. The problem being this lady's kind of uncover, so Klalish and Flynn cannot see her, but worry not, Jin Carter can with a 100% shot, so let's take that one. Eyes on the prize. 
9 damage, that means that Mr. Deer can actually deal with him in 2 shots. No, in 3 shots, we're gonna have to actually take all of them. Uh, let's not use any luck. Oh, that is actually a good shot. Hold on. I can take advantage of the fact that we landed the critical. Now, if I use this wild run next for this lady, out of range, well, we cannot tell, but... You know what? I'm gonna take just a step behind so that, you know, the wild run, how it functions is the longer the distance you cover to the enemy, the more the damage. So if we can get even a step behind, that would be fine. Uh, that is plus one damage what I did there for the next round. Let's kill her. Good day to die. And now, how much does the wild run give me? Alright, 10 damage, which means only 6 remains. Oh, that is kind of unlucky actually, because none of my girls can do 6 damage. They can only do 5, so I'm gonna have to fire twice. My Klalish, you're gonna fire once, obviously. Hit her for 100%. Oh, and only. hello there. That was a critical. That works out nicely. Okay, cool. Hold on. Now Laughing Deer can finish her off. Right? Indeed, he can do it. Now, finally, we get some good RNG. Now we have two players with four points. Interesting. We could do some damage to her as well. Switch to the weapon. Now, she is going to have a height advantage, though. She might wreck some havoc on us. Can I see her from here? Now, hold on, let me find some optimal positions. Oh, but there is, here's a nasty surprise for me. There is a fourth target here, god damn it. Uh, this one we cannot see. I don't know, she's way too high, I guess, for us. We could be able to land two shots on her, though. I mean, Flynn can already kind of see, even without luck. We're gonna do a save here. Like, real quick. See if we can land shots without using the luck. 75. I got this one. Okay, cool. That is a decent shot. She even has points to retrieve if need be. I might just leave her there, though. I do not want her to be inside the view of uh, of the other Shadow Flynn. And how about Laughing Deer? He doesn't have a shot now, but if I go there, he has a 75% as well. All right, let's save again. I'm safe coming a bit, but we need to be careful. Let's go there. Let's see if 75 is enough, otherwise we're gonna reload and use the luck. And it was enough. Now, Jim Carter... Oh, uh, you might be in danger from this lady, I don't know. On the other hand, if I put you here, this lady will get you easily. She might migrate to this position. So you're just gonna hunker down. That's all you can hope for. He's not getting Looking shot now. Trouble? And Flynn, you hunker down as well. You could shadow swap in the next round with someone of these ladies, we'll see. Alright, what do you do? Shadow swapping with... Oh, okay, interesting choice, interesting choice. She's gonna also fire and whack my brains out, nice. And she's shadow swapping again. Alright, I have the height advantage though, that is interesting. Man, they are really focusing on laughing here, aren't they? Oh, come on, two ladies, can we take them out? She is only at 5 health. This should be doable somehow. Alright, so the easiest thing to do would be just to use Jin again. With his superior luck ability here. Uh, let's get him down there. All oh, 25% only? From this position? Well, if I use my luck, it's 100. Now I guess let's get him as close as we can with one movement point. Why not? I mean, if things go bad, we can just... Throw more bodies into the fight. <laughs> Alright, now kill her. Gain your bravado back. And we have enough luck. Do we have enough luck to actually hit her as well? Now that is the crucial point. Can't do, amigo. You can... Oh, you can actually go very close and 100% her. Alright, cool. No luck needed. Uh, let's, let's just do that. Let's finish this. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. I mean, I'm gonna do 8 damage, 7 points remaining. This guy can get to her like in one right. movement. So yes, this is as good as over. Excellent. Please, one bullet to the head. And not Flynn, but Mr. Deer. Come over here, finish her off. With your melee weapons. 
Alright, next shot takes us home.